It seems like country singer Kelsey Ballerini has been shot into a whole new level of superstardom lately. You're feeling good, y'all. I've known you since Brad and Angelina. Could get hurt, but I'm gonna jump right in. Baby, with my hands a hole in the bottle. Leaking all this wine. Her newest EP, Rolling Up the Welcome Mat, that documents her divorce from fellow country act Morgan Evans, has been a trending topic in what seems like more than just the country music sphere. People on social media have been sharing their thoughts about the storyline Ballerini presents in the project and singing her praises. She seems to have accumulated a whole new set of fans who aren't even familiar with the country genre, which has been her home base since 2015. The country music genre seems to be actively working against its female artists, but Ballerini has kept climbing since the beginning. The best new female artist, congratulations! Before we get into the unapologetic rise of Kelsey Ballerini, be sure to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up for more country music news and entertainment. From Knoxville, Tennessee, Ballerini is an only child of divorced parents. She moved to Nashville when she was 15 years old in 2008 with her mom to chase her dreams of being a singer-songwriter. Kelsey's musical influences based on pop culture growing up were Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Shania Twain, who she would later go on to work with, and Hilary Duff. She's a self-proclaimed fangirl, making her super relatable, growing up admiring artists like Justin Bieber and the Jonas Brothers. When she chose country music, her musical influences were the likes of Taylor Swift and Keith Urban. She signed her first publishing deal at 19 years old and her record deal came a year later. I was offered a publishing deal with Black River and I was so obnoxious as soon as I saw my publishing deal. Everyone knew I wanted to be an artist and when I would write a song and get a demo of something that I was super proud of, I would just go play it for everybody that would listen to it. After that, I would just send them what I was writing, and then that December is when they offered me my record deal. Ballerini signed her record deal with Black River Entertainment in 2014, a smaller Nashville slash country music label that's owned by the Pagula family, known for owning the Buffalo Bills and the Buffalo Sabres sports teams. She dropped her debut record the first time in 2015, and since then, she has been a female artist to watch in Nashville and the country music genre. Songs like Peter Pan, Dibs, and Love Me Like You Mean It had her on the radio and on people's radars quite quickly. At the time, Peter Pan going number one made Ballerini the first female artist, including duos and groups, in country music history to hit number one with her first three consecutive singles from a debut album. Kelsey was the first female artist to send a debut single to number one since Carrie Underwood in 2006. Ballerini's debut album came at an interesting time in country music. Carrie Underwood and Luke Bryan were in their prime, and Chris Stapleton was having a breakout year. Other rising female artists at the time were Casey Musgraves, Pageant Material went number one the same year that Kelsey Ballerini came onto the scene, and Maddie and Tay. Ballerini managed to differentiate herself out of the gate by not being afraid to lean into her pop influences while maintaining really honest and vulnerable songwriting. Immediately, she connected with her fans and made them a true priority in her life. Today is really cool because we picked a fan, her name is Lauren, and uh, we're actually going to go in and give her a makeover, but I get to do it. I'm a huge fan of Kelsey and her music, um, probably since day one. Dude, I'm so excited to see you. Hi. Hi. I'm so good. How are you? Good. Right. Me and my dad were driving down there earlier the today. We were Kelsey Ballerini's Peter Pan. Great song. But we wondered, there's two sides to every story, so we wondered. What would Peter Pan's side of the story sound like? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. With her second album, Unapologetically, Ballerini released the badass independent anthem, Miss Me More, along the heartfelt legends.
Miss Me More made the treacherous climb to the number one spot at the time, becoming the first song by a solo female artist to go number one on the country charts within the span of 15 months. In the same year, 2018, she collaborated with EDM duo The Chainsmokers on This Feeling, proving that she is unafraid to lean into her pop tendencies. Her willingness to bend the boundaries of the country music genre seemingly paid off as the track has over 500 million streams on Spotify alone. Sometimes they go wrong, but no one listens to me, so I put it in the country music genre was really defined by pop country at this time during 2015, where songs like Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt took over the radio alongside Florida Georgia Lines, God Your Mama and Me, and Thomas Rhett's Star of the Show. Ballerini made strides in her personal life as well during this period of time when she married fellow Australian country singer Morgan Evans. While their relationship remained private for most of the time where they were married, Ballerini remained open and honest with her fans through her songwriting and music. Ballerini's career really started to shift after the release of her third album, Kelsey. Homecoming Queen was the first single from this album and it got the full promotional push and was off to a great start, but ultimately never reached number one. Fans believe Homecoming Queen never got the success it deserved on radio because it was her single during the height of the pandemic when radio programmers and playlisters were trying to keep things lighthearted and positive. But Kelsey was a realist, and that's why Kelsey the album got its own, more vulnerable spinoff with its sister record, Ballerini. This reimagined version of the record essentially reworked versions of the tracks on Kelsey's LP with a more stripped and vulnerable sentiment. Her fans praised her for creating a more relatable version of the album, given the times. Despite this, Kelsey the album included a collaboration with pop artist Halsey on The Other Girl, which brought more attention to Ballerini as an artist in the pop scene. Hole in the Bottle got its own re-release with a Shania Twain feature. And she co-wrote Love and Hate with a British pop artist Ed Sheeran. After Homecoming Queen peaked, Half of My Hometown with Kenny Chesney got blasted out to radio and kept climbing the charts until it reached the number one spot in March of 2022. The track earned Ballerini her first CMA award. It might seem crazy that it took a while for Ballerini to get her first major CMA win, but being from a small label usually results in less push during award season. Her downtime also led to her first ever book of poetry titled Feel Your Way Through, which came out in November 2021. Something special about Ballerini, not just as a singer, but as a songwriter, is her unabashed vulnerability. Thinking of my younger self breaks me like glass. Things in her future, now things in my past. In the book, she discussed fear, dreams, and insecurities. She also opened up about specific experiences like her eating disorder when she was a teenager and witnessing a kid get shot to death in high school. I've never talked about it before. (laughs) His name was Ryan. And he died on the cafeteria floor from a gunshot wound to the chest. I can't be too sure, but I think I saw him breathe his last breath. I just, I, I think I became very aware of life is short. I'm scared of loud noises. I'm triggered by the news. I'm terrified of guns. I'm sensitive in crowds. But. I'm alive. And because of a boy named Ryan, I know what a gift that is. In the same book, she addresses a misstep she took on Twitter. After fellow country singer Morgan Wallen was caught saying the N-word on camera, Ballerini tweeted out, The news out of Nashville tonight does not represent country music. After receiving fair backlash, Ballerini deleted the social media app. She reflected on this in her poetry book sharing, Did I misstep? Did I misspeak? Did I fuck up with that one tweet? This era as a whole once again proved that Ballerini has been able to remain true to the country music genre with her honest and vulnerable songwriting while exploring the genre's boundaries with the production and her collaborators. She opened up for the Jonas Brothers in 2021 and collaborated on a new track, I Quit Drinking, with indie pop band Laney. Most recently, she collaborated with her good friend, pop artist Fletcher, on the track Better Version, and Kelly Clarkson appeared in Ballerini's 2022 project Subject to Change and performed with Ballerini on stage at the 2022 CMA Awards. In September 2022, Ballerini started a new era of music with the release of her album Subject to Change. Her lead single from Subject to Change was titled Heart First and got her 
a nomination at the Grammy Awards, and her tour in support of the LP started at the iconic Radio City Music Hall in New York City. Ballerini's Heart First tour is nothing short of a grand production. She has numerous outfit changes as well as a well-thought-out and executed stage design. Most men in the country genre step on stage in jeans and a t-shirt. It's clear Ballerini is bringing back the iconic looks and performances that the genre has the capability of showing. She's light years ahead of her peers. During her live shows, Kelsey does what she's always done best, which is get intimate with her fans. She frequently opens up on stage and shares stories and insights, whether it be about a specific song or something that she's going through or just something silly and random. Her live shows are as heartfelt as they are entertaining. I don't know. It was a girl, not a man. Kentucky or United Kingdom? Taking up the space for a woman's not there at all. All while Kelsey was in a new era of music, she was also stepping into a new era of her personal life as she publicly announced her divorce from fellow country singer Morgan Evans. Evans got his side of the story out first by releasing the track Over For You, where he shares, I would have searched the whole world over for you, took a flight through the night to be that shoulder for you, and I would have let go if you wanted me to. Ballerini responded with a surprise EP that dropped on Valentine's Day 2023 titled Rolling Up the Welcome Mat. This six-track compilation features Ballerini's strongest songwriting yet and was accompanied by a short film. Following the release, Ballerini appeared on the very popular podcast Call Her Daddy where she explained that things got nasty between the two and cited specific situations that had unfolded over the past few years leading to her divorce. He released a song about your divorce. Uh Uh-huh. And this was before it was finalized. This was weeks after we decided. And you had no idea the song was coming out? No. How long have you been waiting to take our pictures down? Why am I just finding out? When you heard the song and when you hear the lyrics, what does it make you feel? Oh. So angry. So angry. I had a pretty good grasp on like my grieving journey until that song came out. And I was livid. I think that maybe there's a world where he was blindsided. I did not blindside him. I think two things can be true. Mm -hmm. And I, I think like if he truly was blindsided, then where was he? And that's the point. Ballerini explained Evans wouldn't put much effort into their partnership. She would book Evans flights to come visit her and he wouldn't get on them. She also had fundamental differences when it came to starting a family. On the podcast, she also went on to confirm that she's now dating Outer Bank star Chase Stokes. Shortly after the EP's release, it was clear that fans were connecting with the music. It seemed like clips of Kelsey Ballerini's new project were all over TikTok with women sharing their own stories. And people became really invested in the divorce and the public drama between Ballerini and Evans. After the release of this album, Ballerini also got recruited to perform on Saturday Night Live, a show not many country artists get to perform on. She just finished the second leg of her Heart First tour, with most shows being completely sold out. In between her solo headlining tour, she'll be joining superstar Kenny Chesney on his spring tour dates. She also just got featured in a New York Times article about her career journey, and it was titled, Kelsey Ballerini is Ready for Liftoff. In March 2023, Ballerini made her first political statement since her Morgan Wallen misstep tweet, which she has later redacted, when hosting the 2023 CMT Awards. Ballerini co-hosted the show alongside Kane Brown in Austin, Texas, but she was the only one to use the platform on national television to push a political agenda, an uncommon occurrence in country music. The show opened up with a powerful statement from Ballerini about gun control, who referenced the recent school shooting in Nashville as well as her personal traumas. Tonight's broadcast is dedicated to the ever-growing list whose lives continue to forever be changed by gun violence. Later on in the evening, Ballerini performed her new single, If You Go Down, I'm Going Down Too, alongside drag queens. This also feels timely as the Tennessee government is actively trying to ban drag shows and make it illegal in the state. As you can expect, it's equally met with criticism and praise by country music fans alike. Ultimately, what Kelsey Ballerini did on stage at the CMT Awards is a page from the playbook of her peers and other genre-crossing superstars like Dolly Parton, Taylor Swift, Shania Twain, and Casey Musgraves, who have unapologetically aligned themselves with the LGBTQ community and built loyal fan bases doing so.
If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more country music news and entertainment. Be sure to let us know in the comments if you're a Kelsey Ballerini fan, and if you are, what's your favorite era of hers?